Manim is an animation library for Python created by Grant Sanderson to make popular science videos, mainly in mathematics. This library was born in 2015, is open source and has gone through a series of changes and forks over the years. Currently, there are three main versions, but each version has a particular history. Manim Cairo, Manim CE, and Manim GL. Manim Cairo is the first version of Manim, the oldest one. It was discontinued at the end of 2019, and you can currently find it in the Cairo backend branch of the official repository. The name Cairo refers to the graphics library of the same name, it is written in C, and uses the CPU instead of a graphics card. It has no documentation and the organization of the code is quite bad. Manum CE is a fork of Manum Cairo and is maintained by the community, not Grant. The code is much better organized, has better documentation, is more stable, and has many new features and plugins. The main branch uses Cairo, but an OpenGL version is being worked on that uses the graphics card, so in theory, it is reasonably faster. However, this version is not complete and is sometimes slower than the Cairo version, so it is still fully experimental. ManimGL is the version currently used by Grant to make his videos. It uses OpenGL instead of Cairo, and it is the fastest version of all. This version allows previewing at runtime, unlike the Cairo versions, where you have to wait for the video to render. It has quite basic documentation and is the most unstable of all versions, not suitable for beginners. The most recent versions are increasingly designed for interactive animations. Now we are going to compare these versions. The data is based on my experience. I have used all these versions since 2019. We will use as criteria the speed, the quality of the code, and the diversity of animations we can do with them. Let's start with Manim Cairo. Its speed is quite good, even a little faster than Manim CE, in some occasions. The problem with Manim Cairo is that it is impossible to debug, as the organization and the way the code is built is very bad. The diversity of animations that can be done with it is quite high, just watch all of Grant Sanderson's videos until the end of 2019. This version is only useful for rendering some old scenes, like the Fourier Circles animation, but in general, it is not recommended to use it. Unlike Manim Cairo, Manim C has excellent documentation, but, since it still lacks to document some objects, I don't give it 100 points yet. It is the most stable version of all Manim versions, but it is also the slowest. That is generally not a problem, unless you want to do 3D animations. The big advantage of Manim CE is that it has a lot of features that Manim Cairo does not have, so developing animations with Manim C is easier. The version of Manim CE with OpenGL is, in general, faster than Manim C with Cairo, but in some occasions it can be slower, it all depends on the type of animations. The problem with this version is that not all the features of Manim C with Cairo are available for OpenGL, so the variety of animations that can be done is reduced a lot. However, this is the most promising version of all, if the community manages to create a stable and optimized version of Manum CE with OpenGL, it will undoubtedly become the definitive version of Manum. In the case of Manum GL, we can distinguish two versions. Version 1.2 is the fastest of all versions so far, it can be several times faster than versions using Cairo. The amount of features, although not as many as Manum CE, are quite decent. The problem it has is that it is less stable, and the documentation is very basic. 
Versions higher than 1.3 are less fast, but have more features than version 1.2, plus it has the feature to make interactive animations. The documentation and code stability is worse than 1.2 version, as Grab prioritizes code functionality, at the end of the day, this is the tool he created for himself. Let's take a look at the most frequently asked questions. The best version to start learning Manam is undoubtedly Manam C with Cairo. The best version for creating 3D animations is Manam GL 1.2. Once you learned how to use Manam CE, it is very easy to switch to Manam GL. In case you want to render old Grant Sanderson videos, you can see most of the code in this repository. But there is one thing to keep in mind. If you are a beginner, it is not a good idea to learn from the source code of old videos as the old code needs to be adapted to work. If you want to learn how to use Manam, you can enroll in my Manam Basic and Intermediate courses, you can buy both courses for $50. And if you already have the basics, you can expand your knowledge with the Intermediate course for only $30 using the coupon you see on the screen. This coupon is only valid for this month and the courses have a 30 days guarantee. There is no other online course at the same level and dozens of solved exercises are included for you to practice. See you in the next line of code.